Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal. And in today's video, I'm talking a little bit about the West German victory of the Soccer World Championship in the year 1954, also known as the Miracle of Bern. Please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos like this. On July 4th, 1954, West Germany had beaten Hungary in the final of the Soccer World Championship, 3-2 to two goals and secured its first Soccer World Championship, which was an incredibly important event for the people of the Federal Republic of Germany after the Second World War. But let's start from the beginning. During the first Soccer World Championship after the Second World War that took place in Brazil, the West German team was not allowed to participate. But on the 27th FIFA Congress, it was decided to let the Federal Republic of Germany rejoin the international soccer community. And four years later, the West German soccer team participated in the World Championship, which took place in Switzerland with Sepp Herberger as their coach. He had coached the German soccer team basically since the mid-1930s first as a vice and then becoming a head coach. His team was eager to leave a good impression in Switzerland and won the first game against Turkey with 4-1 goals during the group phase of the tournament. A wave of hatred hit especially coach Sepp Herberger after the second West German game of the championship after the team was beaten by Hungary with 8-3 goals. The reason Herberger faced such a wave of hatred was that he basically only used substitute players and not his A-team during this match. This feedback from home fired up the soccer team to beat Turkey once more, this time with 7-2 goals. On its way to the final, the West German team beat Yugoslavia in the quarterfinals and Austria in the semifinals. The West German team would meet Hungary once more in the final game of the championship. And Hungary at this time was a clear superior soccer team. It had not lost a game against another country in over four years. And it was considered the world's best soccer team at that time. When the two teams met on July 4, 1954, in the heavy rain of the Wankdorf Stadium in the city of Bern, things didn't look good for the West German team. It only took nine minutes to be trailing the Hungarian team by two goals. Yet at this point, the West German team started to turn the game around. Only one minute after the second Hungarian goal, Max Morlock scored the first German goal followed by Helmut Rahn in the 18th minute of the game. And over the next 70 minutes of the game, both teams battled hard to score a winning goal, which was achieved by Helmut Rahn in the 84th minute of the game. This made West Germany the soccer world champion of the year 1954. Now you might wonder why I'm making a video about this event. The reason is rather simple. Soccer is pretty much the only thing in Germany up to this date where it's publicly tolerated in Germany to express patriotism without being called a Nazi or a fascist right away. And winning the highest honor in, in soccer there is helped the, West, the people of West Germany to overcome the shame of the Second World War. People at that time would say things like Finally, we have achieved something again that we can be proud of. Therefore, the heroes of Bern were widely celebrated upon their return to West Germany and they received lots of gifts and congratulation notes. Yet, only a couple days after the game, the captain of the Hungarian team, Frenek Pushkas, made claims that the German team had been using drugs to increase their performance. A good indicator to support this claim was that basically the entire West German team suffered some liver damage, which could have been due to a single needle that was used multiple times. Players like Werner Liebrich 
and Richard Herrmann passed away due to their liver diseases. And despite these indicators, the remaining players did dispute these accusations. Only after it became public in the year 2004 that little glass ampules were found in the German locker room, players who were still alive at this time admitted to have been injected with a vitamin C solution. It is unlikely though that it's true since in the year 1954 vitamin C supplements were available in a chewing form. It isn't proven what was in those injections, whether it was a vitamin C solution or as others claim, Perventine, a German drug name for crystal meth. I'd also like to mention that anti-doping rules were only introduced by the FIFA in the year 1966. I thank you so much for watching this video up until this point and hope you'll join me again in my next video.